right. Um, this in my hands is yet another piece of legislation, except this is global legislation. This is uh, the Framework Convention on Climate Change from the United Nations. This is, um, this is what um, the United Nations and the world would like America to sign, and Barack Obama may or may not sign it coming in January. This has a lot of people concerned. Lord Moncton uh, is, um, I mean... I mean, do ever people just ever call you like Lord, Lordy, Lord? What do you call it? my liege? What is it, dear? You can go on one knee and just call me sir. Really, <laughs> sir? Are you so you're knighted? A lord? No, no, no. no, 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 no sir knight. is just an easier thing than my lord is the correct thing. Touching of the forelock, a little bow, white gloves. I've told you this really? before. But... Yes, yes. <laughs> do I, can I turn my back or do I have to walk away? Certainly not. Always yeah. backwards. Okay, yeah. always back away. All right. Um, the. Um, uh, this, you say that this is uh, going to lead to global government. Yes, well, it says so in, in paragraph 38. Okay. The word government is there. Um, it, it says what its powers are going to be. They are enormous. They're, they're greater than any power that any okay. government has now. And, uh, and John Bolton, I would characterize you as kind of in the same area, but not really. You say this is, there's got to be a lot of other things that go along with it. Yeah, I don't, I don't view this as apocalypse today. I yeah. think it's a mistake. Mm -hmm. uh, to be sure, okay. but it's not going to emerge in this form. Okay. Now, um, I hope but it won't. I hope I've made enough noise to stop it. It is you. You. Um, this is all based on the science of gli uh, global warming, yeah. which seems to be coming apart at the seams. Um, you know, because it, it's, it's, it's cooler. The Earth is now going into a cooling trend. How can you have so much CO2 and going into a cooling trend? It doesn't make any sense if it's yeah. caused by CO2. But this in it has a climate or a, a or carbon debt that we'll have to pay for the rest of the world because we use so much carbon. You say that you can disprove the uh, the CO2 and the and the global uh, warming. That's right. It has now been disproved, not by me, I should say, but by Professor Richard Lindzen of MIT. Now you saw the economic calculations I showed you on the Lord board up Maybe there. Maybe my head hurt. And that's very very simple. It just says one trillion tons, one Fahrenheit degree of warming foregone, and that means there's no point in trying to do anything about it. But now, if we can go to the wise up window, I'd like to show you a graph. <laughs> Right. from Lindzen's paper. Now, okay. what you see there is the, there are 11 separate computer models graphed there, and they all show that as temperature rises at the sea surface from left to right along the bottom there, then the outgoing radiation at the top of the atmosphere is predicted to fall because all the greenhouse gases in the atmosphere that we're putting there are stopping the radiation from getting out. But these are predictions by the Xbox 360s and Playstations of the UN. <laughs> It's what I call globalized groupthink. There is no scientific basis for this. Indeed, it right, contravenes so, the laws of So I mean, I'm, I'm sorry for being such an idiot here, right. but that makes no sense to me. Let me just see if I have it right. Okay. The red line going down is the yes. prediction, right? That's right, yes. And it, and it means uh, that the, the radi what's escaping out into space... You get less and less escaping out to space less, as right. the it's temperature staying. increases. As the temperature increases, less and less radiation gets out to space. Right. Because the greenhouse gases thicken because of the temperature increasing, right. and they stop it getting out. That's, right. that's the prediction. That's the Got official it. theory. If you don't predict that, you can't say there's a problem with CO2. All right. If we could have the next slide, I'll show you what really happens. And now look in the middle there. That is a measured result. It took 20 years to compile that one little graph. Professor Richard Lindzen of MIT, the foremost meteorologist in the world, he knows more about this than anyone else alive. He took 20 years. He had to wait until he had enough data points that he could do that graph reliably. And it shows that as the temperature increases, so the amount of radiation going out into space also increases. You'll see that the direction of the graph is completely different in the real world. That's the green one from the Earth Radiation Budget Experiment satellite. So, okay, so the green is what actually That's happened. what really happened. And the red lines all around it that's are, all the, are the what, what all the predictions That's are. the Xbox 360s, exactly. And so what we've got is a measured result that shows that all the guesses, all the groupthink, all the consensus, so-called, which you can see in those models, they all have a consensus among themselves, but that consensus is now proven by direct and meticulous measurement to be wrong. And why is this particular paper and this particular slide so important? Because what it is showing is that that outgoing radiation is not being trapped down here, as Al Gore and the others say it is. It's getting out to space very much as it always did. And therefore, instead of getting seven Fahrenheit of warming this century with a doubling of CO2, just one Fahrenheit. Small, harmless, and generally beneficial. And that paper, history will relate, is the end of the scare. Back in a minute.
with Lord Moncton and Ambassador Bolton. Um, Lord Moncton, you have been asking for a debate with Al Gore for a very long time. Yes. I, has, has he ever responded? I have taken adverts in the newspapers for six months at a time. I challenged him in Congress when I was invited by the Republican minority leader on the Energy and Commerce yeah, Committee. Yeah, but that was since then. Now you're on a, now you're and, on a real and, cable. And they, he wouldn't do it. And now, okay, we're now on a real television Now you're on show. a real, well, not, now, you know, it's still cable, but it's... Okay, but it's still a real television yeah, show. Yeah, right. And, and after all, it's Glenn Beck. This yeah, carries sure, sure. a certain amount of weight, perhaps <laughs> yeah. too much around the waistline. But anyway... Um, <laughs> He's, I, I thought I'd get that one in. control of this show. <laughs> <laughs> this, all right. well, uh, thank you very much. You've been with the Christopher Munster now. <laughs> now, uh, what I'd like to say to Al Gore is this. Al, baby, if you really believe that you hang want on, hang on, to raise... Look right here. Look right there. Tell him right there. Yeah, Go Al, ahead. baby, if you really think that you want to raise the profile of this issue, then why don't you agree to debate with me on international television, the fees we'll earn, apart from anything else, would be enormous, and I know you'd love that, because money seems to stick to you very rapidly. I want you to face me in a debate about global warming, and if you don't dare, I want you to remain silent about that subject forever from now on. Are you a coward, or will you step up to the plate? Are you an armchair quarterback, or are you going to get suited up and get onto I, that field? You know what? I, I learned something from Marty McFly. Don't call me chicken. Just saying. Next, rapid fire. Rapid fire questions. Quick questions, quick answers. We have, a two, we have two minutes on the clock. Are you ready? Go. Both of you. Ready? Moncton. Compact fluorescent light bulbs. Supposed to save money and energy? Never mind, they're loaded with toxic mercury. Forget about that. Are they effective? No. Uh, Bolton, will the UN ever stop being a paper tiger and actually do something like stopping genocide, you know, when it's happening instead of writing, you know, really nasty letters? When are you going to ask serious questions? <laughs> okay. Energy Secretary Stephen Chu has suggested painting the roofs white on our house to stop global warming. I've costed that one at $51 trillion for a 0.1 Fahrenheit reduction in temperature worldwide. Okay, here's a serious question. Hitler's brain. In the basement of the UN? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. So you've been in the basement of the UN. I have. I know right. everything in the basement. They're now in uh, Baltimore City Schools. They are now um, saying you can't, you can't eat meat. It's a meatless Monday to help the planet make right. any difference. Okay. None whatever because the atmospheric concentration of methane has not risen much in the last decade. It's only present at a concentration of two-thirds of a part per million and therefore its effect as far as global warming is concerned is the same as just seven years of carbon emissions. And that's the whole of the methane in the atmosphere. And th therefore as Representative Sensenbrenner as, as represent, Representative Sensenbrenner says, I don't want to call for tax. Uh, when, when I was in Baltimore City Public Schools, yes. we had fish on Fridays yes. for the Catholics. That was probably that was, unconstitutional. Right. Well, they're both religion. They're both religion. No, um, one superstition. Bolton, is the UN conspiring with powerful and secret group of elite globalists to rule the world through an autonomous world government known as the New World Order? No. Maybe. <laughs> Um, politicians are telling us to keep our tires inflated to improve gas mileage. Work? No. All right. But it, it is safer that way. All right. We'll get back to Hitler's brain later from New York. Good night. <laughs>